What is that, Dad? That's a giant squid. Coming what are we going to make today? Well, we're going to stuff it Chinese style with a little European ingredient. I think it's like the ocean meet the ocean. It's going to be amazing. Later. You see this? That's a squid ink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giant knife with a giant squid. Sticky rice? Yeah, I got some sticky rice. You see this? Bit of chili peppers. See if it goes down. Mix, mix, mix. Mm. Now I'm stuffing the squid. Octopus, you know, lobster, scallop, shrimps. Anything goes in there. Successfully stuffed in. What part do we have to do? What? The chorizo, now you have to. So that just hang out of the end? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is for sure getting demonetized. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm just going to skewer the squid. Olive oil, a little bit of salt, not so much. A little chili pepper. Mm. Mm. Now, see you later. You know the Portuguese squid? Holy shit, it's so good. Pad thai sauce. What's in it? You know, spices of tamarind. On top, green onions and peppers. And Thai basil. Hot oil. A little bit of tomatoes. You already know the vibe. Just say a bus and bus in. Shoo, And this over here, son. Nice. Children, when you cook the lobster, make sure lobster is relaxed. I am doing yoga with lobster. <laughs> you know what I'm making, children? I'm making a classic, classic hollandaise with tarragon. I have some shallots, stainless steel pot, white peppercorn. For two lobster, you about 20 pieces. Bay leaf, three, white wine. Bop, 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 bop. Now, a lot of people do use vinegar, but I, I like, like lemon. lemon. Simple, melted butter. Clear fire one, that's what you're looking for. Two lobster goes in. I just completely shut off the water. Tarragon, lobster is the best marriage. So I pick all the stems, throw it into my reduction. Stir, stir, stir. You see what I'm bundling? A lot of people start mincing things. Bundle them so they're nice and tight. Then we're gonna start. You see that tiny of goodness. Look at, see how fine already is. Well, now I'm straining the butter. My reduction is done and I push it through there. Drain everything. No waste. No waste, never. Meanwhile, I have hot water boiling. Now they call it bain marie, children. What that means is not direct heating. It's only coming from the steam. Steam is very powerful, which is very, very hot. It yolks. One, two, three. Whisk. Simmer boiling. Because you know why, children? You don't want overcooking the yolks. Back and forth, back and forth. You know, sometimes your chef work with their body. It's like a little, uh, you know, it's like a wind blowing a bamboo. Done. Now I'm, I'm putting in the blender. Hollandaise butter. Mm, this isn't very classical of you. Well, it's called modern. Being modern, son. Doesn't matter how old I am, you guys think modern. Everything about timing. Cooking a lobster. Hollandaise is done. Don't forget about this terror. Herbaceous. Lobster. Legs out. So, take off the... I'm gonna teach you how to crack a lobster. You hold this down and you use your hand. Just crack it both sides. All the way down to the tail. Next thing you know, you open up with both hands, but make sure you use a cloth. Make sure you clean up the tail by just marking open all the way to the back. Poop, poop. The tail of goodness right here. Always from the top. It's just crack. Well, crack, you see? And then you open this part, and then it slides off. How do you recommend we eat this? Well, recommended, just slop some sauce. With my mm. tarragon. The sauce is so buttery, but acidity a little bit, like you said. You know where the acidity comes from? Lemon. Well, there's <laughs> one, but also white wine too, right? Mm -hmm. Things my Iron Chef Dad made this week. Steak shrimp and scallops with truffle. Eggs Benedict. Chicken cutlet. Caviar and bellinis. Baked Alaska. On fire. Deep fried banana chocolate bar. Chocolate coconut dumplings.
stir fry from leftovers. Guacamole. More caviar. This giant hash brown. Hey dad, can you turn my- Yes, I can. Turn TV dinner to gourmet. What are you thinking? What do we have? Well, first of all, this is pretend to look like a chicken breast, but it's not really a chicken. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, it's chicken mousse. What do you mean by chicken mousse? So two chicken breasts, so they look like presentation, right? Eat with your eye, children. So, <laughs> that huh? answer my question. What's chicken mousse? Ground the chicken up and turn it into puree. Fresh frozen corn, to be exact. How's it fresh and frozen? <laughs> well, it was fresh and then it's frozen. So you have- So it's frozen fish fresh? No, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Mashed potato, look at this. Like a little jelly. Cut up the mashed potato. I go and defrost it. Hot water. I could have just put it in the microwave. That meant to be. But you know what? I want to make it gourmet, you know, a little bit more. Chop it into little pieces. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of fresh chicken. See how dry this is? Put some chicken in. Chive goes down. A little bit of tarragon. I just need a little bit of egg white. Just a little. Black pepper. A little pinch of cornstarch. Very little. Egg white and cornstarch, when they bind together, make it juicy. You know, therapy. I have to do something with this jelly. Little apple juice, sugar content is good. Now I got the bacon. Stir, 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 glaze, glaze, glaze. Hey. Frozen corn go down. Mashed potato. Flour. Now I'm making a potato dumpling. Parmesan cheese. It's going to turn this into chicken dumpling. Mm. Round it. Four. Number five. Boiling water goes down one by one. Turn the water, go around so they don't stay. Dumpling is ready. Mm -hmm. A bottle of champagne. Woo! That's the sound. We're going to have some champagne in. 35% cream. A blender. This is the frozen corn element from the dinner. Just a little bit of creme fraiche. Chive and tarragon in. Apple glaze smoked bacon. I have truffle. Got everything in there. Mm -hmm. I think this is your most like gourmet, complex tasting thing. I'm gonna let you rate yourself first. Nine taste. out of seven. 